Hey, maybe you're a new real estate agent and you're looking for some advice on how to be successful your very first year in real estate. You've got some challenges, you've had some problems. Well, good news. Today, I am interviewing Jacob, who is a relatively new agent, been in the business about a year and a half, and just joined us over at eXp, and he's had a really fantastic, successful first year in real estate. So I'm super excited to have you on, man. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. I'm excited to be on. Yeah, I think it's incredible what you've done in your first year. And I know people have a lot of things they can learn from you. You know, it's, sometimes it's hard to, to listen to a guy like me who's been around, you know, all these years and been doing it forever. Uh, you know, yeah. I, we we're just joking about I can't win the 40 under 40 award anymore. But you can. And uh, that's one of the things you did this year, won 40 under 40, which is fantastic. I remember I when I won, <laughs> won that a long time ago. Uh, and did 9 million in sales since you started, which is incredible. Like yeah. a lot of people it takes five, 10 years to get to that level. So way to go, 9 million in, in sales in your first uh, little bit of your career. And you've got a, a history in tech too. You used to work for Google, Apple, Oracle, a lot of big companies. I'm sure I learned a lot there, yeah. which, which is great. So thanks for joining us. And we're super excited to have you as part of our group at eXp. We'll get into that and why you made the move to eXp later. But I always like to start off with the story. So what is it that got you into yeah. real estate? How did you... How did you find this career after all that tech background and all that other stuff? How'd you end up here? Yeah. So that's kind of a funny story. So before real estate, I owned my own consulting company and um, that kind of birthed out of my experience in tech. I was like, Hey, I could do this on my own. And, um, and so I did, and I did really well for quite a while and some market shifts happened and my customer basis literally disappeared um, yeah. kind of overnight. It's imagine for real estate, it was, you know, for me, um, what 2007 was is very similar kind of thing. And um, I wasn't able to adapt and shift quick enough. And uh, there was no business left. Mm -hmm. And so um, what's really funny is, you know, I was just being a supportive boyfriend a few years back and did the whole real estate school thing. I'm like, you know, help you study all that kind of stuff. Because everyone, it's easy to do things together, right? When we have other people supporting us. Uh, but it was never in a career path. It wasn't any interests, you know, like everyone else watched a few real estate shows and that's about it. Um, and um, kind of when that, that market shift happened and my business was affected, uh, I was like, um, I don't know how I'm going to overcome this. Maybe I need to look into something different. And um, I didn't feel like getting back into the tech world necessarily too much. And um, I remembered, I'm like, oh, I had taken that real estate school. Um, remember that, remember that 90 hours of classes I took <laughs> for love? <laughs> right, right. I'm like, well, you know, I'll give it a try and see. I don't know if I really like it, but... Um, I've done yeah. sales and then obviously I've had the tech background. I imagine those two combined could be pretty powerful tools. And uh, here I am and, and uh, you know, it's worked and I've loved it every single day. It's it's honestly been the best career move that I've ever made. Ah, that's awesome, man. And, and uh, the success yeah. proves that out. You really enjoy it. So like, I'm curious, you know, I, I had a huge business failure early on in my career. I had to lay people yeah. off, lost everything. You know, I know what that's like. I'm sure a lot of people watching do too. How do you muster up the, you know, in that moment when you're you're sitting on the kind of in the rubbish of your past business, how do you go, all right, I'm going to go start another one? Like, how do you muster up the courage to, to go try again? Yeah, um, honestly, I, I don't I don't remember too much from that time period. I remembered, you know, honest, as you probably know, just feeling like a complete failure. Um, you know, I had a penthouse downtown I had to get rid of and. And, you know, and I had my, you know, car repossessed and all that kind of stuff. So I had a big failure, right? I lost everything uh, that I had worked for. Um, and eventually over time, you just get sick of, of uh, playing the woe is me game. And then you start getting up and you're like, what am I going to do? And you start strategically thinking and you start putting action in. And um, that's what I did. I started putting action in. I got up every day. I gave myself a schedule. Um, and, um, that consistency, I would say is probably the biggest factor in what, in what has led to my success. You have to get up every day and show up for yourself. Yeah. You were telling me, uh, you know, cause I had, I had asked like, Hey, how, how are you so successful so quickly? And you had mentioned that that was part of your, your, what you believe led to your success so quickly was your consistency. So talk a little bit about that. What, what is it you were consistent at? You know, what actions were you taking to get going very quickly and yeah. be successful? Yeah. So, um, as soon as I got my key to the brokerage, um, I started getting there at 7 a.m. every single day. Um, and I was determined, I, you know, I'm going to show up to every single class. I'm going to do every single event. Um, I'm going to meet every single agent here, um, whatever it takes 
right? To get the connections, to build the business, to get the knowledge, to feel confident in what I was doing. Um, I was going to show up every day and I would get there before the broker most of the time. And I wouldn't leave until I usually was the very last person leaving at the end of the day. And I did that for months and months and months. Um, and it was really funny is actually when I first technically started, the office was shut down all the way until August because of COVID. Oh, wow. um, so I, you know, in August, that's when I started being super consistent and I made relationships that, you know, just like I knew from my past business and from past jobs, everything is a relationship business, especially real estate. And I made relationships with other agents here in the Valley. They would pass me on referrals that they didn't want. Um, I made relationships with people that were outside um, and, and kind of a network from other states and stuff. And they would pass me referrals. Um, and, and I focus on building relationships with vendors and other people who you may um, not even consider. Those are people who can help build your business and pass referrals. And I focused a lot on that. Um, I didn't even focus on cold call. And of course, I reached out to my sphere. Um, but I focused on people that were doing well and learning from them and, and doing the activities and things that they were doing as well. Yeah. So give me a couple of those activities. What are one or two things? So creating relationships sounds like it's a big part of your strategy. Were there any other little tactical things you were up to? Like what were you spending that time with when you're in the office? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of it was building brand presence. Um, I think everyone knows, like, even if you're going to go to a new restaurant, like the first thing you do is go online, you look at the reviews, you look at pictures, you check their website out, you look at their menu. And so I started to do that, right? Have an online brand presence so that when people were looking me up, they weren't like Jake who, I, he's nowhere online. Um, so that was probably pretty much the first thing that I started to do is, and I spent a lot of time on that every day, doing yeah. posts, doing videos, yeah. doing walkthroughs of homes. And so I knew the area so that when people messaged me and they're like, hey, I really love that home. I'm like, oh, you know, it's no longer available, but I know the perfect home right down the street. Yeah. Um, so I just started, I started putting myself out there so yeah. people would recognize who I am. Yeah. That's great. Two great tips there. I mean, just the consistency and then building brand presence, making it look like you're not the new guy, right? You, social media yeah. allows you to really pose because you can go show other people's houses. You know, you can do all kinds of things to make yeah. it look like you're really active. And uh, that's part of our business. It's a really huge benefit to what we do. So that's fantastic. Okay. So right. you're out, you're hustling, you're getting how homes sold, you're doing deals. That's all wonderful. Now, um, what, what caused you to start to look around and maybe look for a different uh, option in terms of a brokerage, in terms of a partnership with our, our group, you know, the, the mentoring and that kind of thing we offer? What, what was it that you started to look around and go, you know what, I, I, I want more? What was, what was one of the challenges or what were some of the challenges you started to come up against? Yeah, um, I got to the point that I really wanted to grow my business. And um, um, I really appreciate all of the things that I had learned from all of the agents I'd make connections with. Uh, I become a top producer at the brokerage, but a lot of people, um, you know, they weren't, they were looking to retire. <laughs> they weren't looking to grow and yeah. um, they weren't super, you know, up for helping share all the things that they've done over the years. They just, they just kind of wanted to kick back. Yeah, they're busy, right? Doing their right. thing, selling houses. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. And so I didn't have the resources that I really needed to take the business to the next level that I had been wanting to go to. Um, and like I said, when I started to engage with that content with EXP, I kind of realized, oh, maybe there are people out there. Maybe there's um, some things that I don't have access to that I could have somewhere else that allowed me to get to that next level in business. And so that, that you know, I, I was dissatisfied with where I was, per se. I wasn't growing as quickly, maybe in meeting some of the goals that I'd wanted to. But I didn't know that there was stuff was out there until I started to actually open my eyes and take a look. Yeah. And uh, it was because of you, John. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's uh, kind of a funny story. So how did you how did you come across me? And, and, uh, and you know, obviously I love EXP, I love where I am. And so I'm always talking about it. But how'd you uh, how'd you find me? And how'd you kind of start to go? You know what? Maybe maybe EXP is the solution for what I've been looking for. Kind of how did that introduction initially happen? Yeah, I don't remember exactly, but I got on your mailing list somehow. I'm sure it's because I used to YouTube everything and I probably clicked on a link somewhere. Um, but you know, I used to, I'll be honest, I used to hit trash on a lot of your emails because <laughs> this guy was always talking about a different brokerage. And honestly, I thought I was at the best brokerage in the world. Yeah. And, you know, it was really the people that I loved there. Yeah. Um, and um, eventually, you know, I just kept hearing about this EXP thing and I'm like, 
what's going on here? There are people from my brokerage leaving, you know, there's people all over YouTube and people sending me emails. So um, I just started to pay attention because I wanted to understand what was attracting people to DXP. And funny enough, that first initial intention was to maybe uh, recruit you and your team. Um, I had actually had a conversation with my CEO at the brokerage and I'm like, hey, this guy looks like he's doing really well. He's the kind of team that we would want. So I, I originally the intention was to learn where your weak points were, your pain points, so that we could fix those for you. And then I ended up finding out that I had some yeah. weak points and pain points that um, <laughs> EXP could end up fixing for me. Yeah. Dude, I think uh, it's so funny. I love those conversations. You know, it's not un uncommon for someone to say, hey, what do you yeah. think about coming to XYZ Brokerage? And I'm always like, great, let's talk about it. <laughs> like, let's lay it out. Let's, <laughs> I would love to see one of the things I've learned, and my, one of my favorite quotes is the most uh, expensive thing in the world is a closed mind. And man, that's true. Like, I just want to be open. Maybe something's yeah. better. You know, I'm, I'm happy to talk to anyone about any brokerage any day, not just because I, you know, my hope is that they'll come join us and what we got going that's really special at EXP, but because I might be wrong. You know, who, who knows? Right. Maybe there's something better. I'm really glad I didn't have a closed mind when Jennifer Weiner told me about EXP. And I listened to her because she was out selling me, you know, and she had something figured out I didn't have. And so, man, I love those kind of conversations. And I think, I think we initially connected on like a Facebook post. I had offered something, you know, I think I offered up a uh -huh. 10, 10 tips to get your buyers offers accepted. And, you know, people mm -hmm. who replied to that, I just sent them an email and threw them on my list. So it's so funny how you just never know yeah. what it is that's going to connect with someone. So I'm glad it was helpful. What was it, you know, as you yeah. were looking, what did you, what, it, what made you start to think, you know what, I think this might be the solution. Like, what was it about? what EXP offered and what our group in particular at EXP offered that seemed like it might help you get to that next level. Yeah. Um, I would say the first thing that really attracted me uh, was the culture of sharing. Um, it didn't matter what EXP person I looked up online that was active in, in, in you know, YouTube pages and videos and educational content. Um, EXP really fosters um, helping people grow but not, not doing it for yourself necessarily. Yes, there's some awesome things I've learned about in you know, your downline and you know, growing that and stuff, and that's really cool. But a lot of people, um, you know, they're open to sharing how they've been successful and mm -hmm. some of the tools and resources they're using. And that was something that was super, super attractive to me. And it wasn't just nobody's, right? These, yeah. I mean, these are people doing massive amounts of volume and they're on stage, they're you know, um, sharing all of the things that that are secrets, right, in a lot of different uh, brokerages. Yeah. And um, and one of the things I love too is that the cost to entry was just being a part of the brokerage. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, at a, a lot of other brokerages, you had you had to pay fifteen hundred dollars for this ticket and this event and five hundred, and it's like every month you're paying for all the stuff. And EXP was just like, hey, what if we just share it with everyone that's yeah. at our brokerage? And I yeah. love that. No, oh, fantastic. That's great. And I think it's one of my favorite parts about, well, it is my favorite part about eXp is that you know, because of the the way the brokerage is built, because of the, the revenue share model, it really incentivizes yeah. uh, people to share, right? Because we're all in business together, which is pretty yeah. crazy. So it's a unique model and I've loved it. So you've been here now, you know, not long, maybe a month or so. Yeah. What, yeah. what has been so far a couple of your favorite things, like what's really working and maybe something that's been overwhelming or challenging, you know, like what's the kind of honest feedback 30 days in of yeah. uh, what's going great and what, what could be used some improvement? Yeah. Um, one thing I remember I mentioned to you and it, it's something we, <laughs> we used to make fun of <laughs> at other, at the other brokerage yeah. is um, EXP yeah. world. It's yeah. very kooky. It's very weird. It's, you know, like, Yep. gamer and sitting in a basement kind of thing <laughs> and um i actually i absolutely love it now that i've used it um i get access to my brokerages instantly i get access to accounting tech support i mean yeah. anything i need i mean it's seconds for me yeah. to get in there i can hop on my phone on my ipad on my yeah. laptop wherever i am and i have i have the answers i need at the at my fingertips 24 7 and that's yeah. something that's so powerful um i love that yeah and uh I know you and I are going to uh, Texas next week, which is really exciting. We are going to I'm see yeah. Tony Robbins uh, speaking at an EXP event we have out there, and uh, I'm super glad you're coming. And you know, yeah. it's uh, two or three days of top agents presenting their best material, what's working for them, you know, what's going awesome, and then Tony Robbins doing his thing, getting us motivated and excited. And what's what I really respect about you is that you dove in, dude. Like you joined, and you're like, "Yep, I'm coming. I'll, I'll figure it out." Right? And <laughs> 
that, that is the path. Like that's what made all the difference for me was, you know, that first event I went to, which is a Craig Proctor coaching program. I went first mm -hmm. of all, and then second was like, all right, I'm going to do it. And I signed up, I had to put it on a credit card. I couldn't even afford yeah. the coaching. And I listened to every video, went to every event, did every webinar and I implemented it and it just changed, I mean, radically changed my life. You know, now here we are doing yeah. 3 million a year in commissions. It's just crazy. So way to go, way to dive in and uh, jump right in and get into it. That's awesome. So any other, any other kind of, um, you know, so far favorite things about EXP, stuff that you're excited about, stuff that's, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure people hear uh, before we end today? Yeah. Um the education is awesome. Um, if you want a place where people are really there to help you and are going to share and be open, I mean, I don't think there's a better place. And then um, even something so simple, um, you know, I was sharing this with a couple of people who um, knew, knew I had moved over. Um, I love that we can get our commissions, uh, you know, wired to us directly, directly yeah. to us when we close. That to yeah. me was huge because it really showed me they cared about the agent first. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't just in words, it was in policy. So it, like little things like that where they put yeah. the agent first. Yeah, I love it, man. Well, that's awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time today to jump on here yeah. and learn a little bit of, or for us to learn a little bit from you about how you did so well your first year, why you're making this exciting move. I'm super thrilled to have you on board because every time we add someone like you who's just top talent, who came out of the gate swinging, it makes the collective group that much more powerful. So uh, yeah. we're super excited to have you. If anybody uh, listening is interested in learning more about A, how to have a great year, your first year of real estate, or B, uh, what's so great about EXP, why we think it's so wonderful, how you could join our group. We have a collaboration group. We meet every single Monday in Mastermind. We go to events like what we're doing in Texas uh, next week. We have lots of, we have a happy hour tonight in Phoenix. So lots of opportunities to connect and grow. We'd love to invite you to any of those events. So uh, reach out to uh, myself, or Jacob, be happy to uh, share with you. So thanks for uh, joining, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me on. All right. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you. Bye-bye.